तो हेलो एवरीवन कैसे हैं सब लोग इट्स गुड टू स्टार्ट बाय द इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस ऑफ सीक्वल सर्वर एमएस सीक्वल सर्वर यू कैन सी आई एम हैविंग ऑल दीज वैल्यूज सो लेट्स से आई एम गोइंग टू परफॉर्म दिस सेलेक्ट क्वेरी फ्रॉम द रिलेवेंट पर्सन व्हिच आई हैड जस्ट क्रिएटेड सो यू कैन सी इट्स शोइंग द रेस्पेक्टिव वैल्यू पर्सन आईडी लास्ट नेम but the question is how to install this software in your local machine that's a really changing so i'm going to explain this procedure where we have installed this procedures here so on the google you will search for google sql server on premises here we will have sql server downloads so on the right hand side you can see express value is there so express sir free edition of sql server the idea for development you will find the respective C exe file in your local machine and then you can go for express addition so i'm going to install this basic part and this basic part will perform all these operations and all these values right you can see this basic will perform all these uh, contrary values right so this is the basic operations and here we have all these it's downloading install packages and it's going to available there so it will take time Uh, you can see it's going to download into your local machine this is the first exe and we will install the second server which is called sql server management studio we will see how it will install from where i'll provide the both of the links in the in the comment section in the in the details you will find the sql server edition right so this is going to install into your server and you can see it's having the certain values so i'm going to see this value once it is downloaded you can see meanwhile you can see this is freely available for this you can download this version later on we will download sql server management studio here you can see this is the link and we will download the setup in our local machine and then we will we will find the certain value so you can see it's uh, installing in your machine the 2022 version is also available for linux you can download for the same and you can start by Uh, typing sql server management studio in google and you will lead to this download ssms sql server management right it's a, also taking much time so i'm going to like install this software in upcoming sessions right so here we have sql server again right it's just installing it will take time in your local machine so you you don't have to do anything until it will it it will install in your local machine right it will take time might, might be 10 minutes might be 15 minutes so but you don't have to touch anything don't pause don't cancel the setup this express edition it will install in your local machine and it will depend upon your it, it will depend upon your uh, configuration of laptop or pc what kind of speed it it's taking up on right so obviously we are going to install one by one you can see it's going to stalling stalling and stalling sql server running uh, everything yes so once it's stalling right you can see it just taking time and everything will be stalled it will lead to the another portal and the command will be shown there right so once you can see installation has completed successfully uh, you will have to install connect now or you can install sms ssms right so ssms is sql server management studio so i'm going to install this studio it will directly lead to that relevant page relevant web page so you can go for this one right so don't close you can minimize this one or you cannot customize because that server is running behind right you can see this is not going to cancel out because this server is going to perform at the back end so please wait while ms ss server setup is processing the current operations right so it will take time again few seconds will be there so you can go for the sql server management 2022 it will be install and it will take again further time right here you can see it it will install or it will download right can you see this setup is just pop up automatically behind microsoft update you can go for the update times right that's the next just click on next don't click on this microsoft it's going to scan 
skipped skip everything will be skipped there and don't worry about firewalls it's just warning you don't need to uh, solve it out it suggests sections you have two choices add features to existing or perform a new installation i'm going to click on this perform new installation because i'm installing from the scratch so i don't need to revoke or resume from the previous installation or resume the uh, uh, like like degraded part so i'm going to perform a new installation in sql server 2022 right so instead of adding new feature i'm going to perform a new installation here right so go next here are the certain expressions just accept the license terms and you can go for the next part and make sure you are not giving any azure lo login it's, just, it's for azure or cloud version you don't need for the basics if you require azure credentials you can give your azure credentials obviously your resources will be counted and then you can go for the uh, next page which is feature selection so in this feature you don't need to give just do anything just click click on next and once you will click on the next part you will lead to the feature rules right so again we have named instances or default instances right so i'm going to name it as something else like name distance i am going to keep it sa you just write it down what kind of name will be there if it is such in so you just write in somewhere in pen paper it will be using in upcoming while you will open this software in your daily coding hands on practice so as far as second step is concerned we are going to lead server configuration where we need to grant perfume values no so you can uncheck this value unnecessary it will create that volume so you can go for the next part which is the configuration here it's asking mixed mode so i'm going to click on mixed mode very important part you just provide password otherwise your window authentic made is not there so i'm going to provide uh, like a strong password here there are certain uh, conditions and can you see this laptop 488 such in this is my server name you will have to select you may have more than one laptop and you'll have to select this server name your server name might be different select the server name and then put your password there which you have just entered there while opening that software in upcoming sessions the installing progress will take time it will be leading the certain obstacle and then we will go for the certain values right can you see it's just setting all the configurations once it will be completed we are good to go for the second part of this part of this installation don't close or don't cancel any portal just minimize or keep idle don't open any concurrent website any processor uh, time which is taking your tram capacity else this installation process will be very diminished diminished the speed will be very diminished the response time will be there here we have current operation which is succeeded succeeded you can see you can see installation successful here we have installation successful and you can close this window right now once i had done this express addition i can exit from this portal and you can go for the second part which is regarding this ssms so sql server management studio download it's a 629 mb it will again take, take time again depending upon your configuration right so you can see once it will download so so it's here right so it's a, it's 629 mb is just downloaded in my local machine you can go to the download section ssms setup so this would be kind of setup and you can install for the second iteration so let's dive right into the installation process of this ssms you can see it's asking for the location we are going to install in the same location and then you can see the packages are going to stall in our local machine again 
overall progress will take time you just say title uh, nothing to do here no operations will be there you just take your time take overall progress it may take 22 25 minutes uh, you can see its overall progress is this here and if you will see some sql server search server you can see this management studio is just installing here right almost installed so but still i'll wait for the last process i'll run as an administration trader or open directly can you see the setup is completed now uh, you can close this configuration manager and then go to the search option and then thinking for uh, sql server can you see this sql server is here management management studio right so this management server will be uh, like sql server management studio you can see you can open this value can you see this management studio is opening now so i don't need to import anything so i'll click on do not import and then i'll go what I, i'll lead to the respective portal there right It's taking time because fetching some backup files or setting. So you can connect the dots. Here we have laptop, Windows authentication. I'll use SQL Server authentication to provide login and then password. I just provided there. You just note down that login and password. You can connect. Now, in few seconds, it's connected successfully. Now the database database uh, system database will consist by default databases right so this is again huh? <laughs> tables so inside this table you can create the new query also right for this new query you can see like suppose i am having any new query i am going to create this new query i am going to search for google for the code i don't want to write the code here so i am going to create table in my ms sql then ms sql server then i am going to create that table in my local machine right here i am having a good example for persons with the relevant values i am going to copy this one and just paste it here and execute inside the master can you see commands completed successfully if I'm going to open new query here, select the strict part, I'll select strict from persons. It's not the person, it's a persons by bad. So uh, the column name is first table name is persons. And I uh, can you see all the columns are showing here. So once you get values for this features name, you will have to insert these value. So I'm going to insert the values in this same. So you will find the respective values here so here are some input values so i'm going to insert into persons person id last name first name and the respective values can you see i'm going to provide the respective values this is the conventional code and first last name first name address all are string so appropriate values will be there one two three four five so i'm going to select this value executing one row affected going back select pers test trick from persons that's it can you see this is the output here and you can upload any one 